Hi, my name is Sarah Holiday and I just graduated from Edinburgh in chemistry and I did my fourth year placement in industry with Sassel Technology UK um, who are based in St Andrews. Um, so I did my placement at DuPont which is based in Wilmington, Delaware in the US. Um, and the type of research I did um, was based on converting biomass into um, useful products such as furcrol and um, how to increase the yield of these products and I also worked on um, carbon dioxide stock capture and storage. I definitely feel like um, working at DuPont has definitely increased my confidence. Um, I mean you have to do presentations to a group of people who are experts in their fields um, every week or every two weeks so you really get used to speaking in the um, public environment. I had a great team that I was working with and I was working on my own project and everyone was really supportive and I found out what it's like to have a real job and to work 9 to 5 and to work in a team with other people who are doing similar things. My name is Ross Green, I studied at Nanyang Technical University under the supervision of Dr Roderick Bates. Um, I study natural product synthesis, so I was synthesizing a glycosidic macroloid called cyanamide A for half a year, six months. I then worked at the Institute of Chemical Engineering Sciences under Dr. Mark Garland and Dr. Chatlow Jacob, where I was studying the NMR of iron 57. Um, they were very, both very rewarding experiences in different ways. The first semester I spent at NTU was um, I spent a lot of time in the lab and it was it was just really rewarding to be able to focus that intently on one particular subject and really hone my practical skills. Also um, at DuPont especially there are always people there to lend a helping hand if you don't know a certain technique in chemistry or um, how to use a certain um, piece of equipment, there's always someone there who's, you know, eager to lend a hand, like, you know, just a, smile, have a happy face, you know, to help you. I had a great time on my placement with Sassel. I think, in fact, if I hadn't done my placement, I wouldn't be doing chemistry again. I wouldn't be continuing to do more chemistry now. It really showed me that I enjoyed research and how different research Chemistry research is a world different from doing chemistry at university, sitting exams, and I realised that I liked it much more and yeah, really caught the bug. I really enjoyed the um, focus of the, the lab work that I was doing. It's really satisfying to be able to take a project through to some sort of completion where you use everything that you, you yourself have synthesised. It's um, it's really satisfying to get a result out of the end that you have worked on, that you've seen through to the end, and um, you can collect your own data on. I also think um, working in industry has definitely broadened my perspectives. Um, before you only think about um, chemistry and a certain reaction, um, but working in industry, you work with people who um, are chemical engineers, um, people in business, so you get all sorts of aspects of um, like how your certain change of a reaction can affect like a whole industrial process. So I mean that you know really widened my perspectives. So I'm Kim Gallagher, and I was on placement in Argonne National Lab in um, America, in Chicago, for the year. Um, the industrial placement program um, was a fantastic experience, and working in Argonne was um, just a wonderful. Um, thing to do for a year. Um, the people there are all incredibly friendly. And um... Um, I think working in America certainly was give you a different experience to say working in the UK. Um, I mean, firstly you have to deal with getting a visa, uh, and then when you get there you have to get an SSN and uh, what well, social security number. Um, get an American driving license because nothing is within walking distance. Well, especially in Wilmington, where I worked, you definitely needed a car. Um, so it was quite different culturally, and I mean, 
and the people that you meet there as well. You know, you meet all sorts of people, so it's a really good experience. Um, one of the major benefits I found about the uh, Singapore Placement Programme is it just gives you a fantastic opportunity to see the rest of the world, um, parts of the world you may never even have considered going to. While I was in Singapore, I visited Indonesia, I visited Thailand, and I visited Cambodia, all of which are fantastic and very diverse places. You are also just a train ride away from Malaysia. Uh, you can go on a weekend holiday there if you want. I have some friends who did that, and they said that it was a fantastic place as well. And you just get a chance to meet lots of different people. Because it's a central hub of Asia, so many diverse people are coming in and out all the time. You, you really pick up uh, the flavor of that side of the world. So I was working um, in an organic chemistry, um, designing um, alkyl metathesis catalysts. And that was all inert atmosphere um, stuff, so that was really quite um, a big learning curve at first, actually. Um, none of these uh, things will last in the air, um, they're very sensitive compounds. And so on a day-to-day -day basis, I'd go into the lab and I'd be working with um, these sensitive compounds in a glove box, so under a nitrogen atmosphere. Um, it's a whole different experience from being at, uh, at university where um, you're working on a specific thing over a, a long period of time and you get to be really um, very skilled at that sort of area of thing. Um, actually I think in particular it's, it would be helpful for going into um, a PhD or something like that because you do get um, a lot of focused time and attention on a specific area and you really, for a year, you do, well I wouldn't say come, become an expert on the area, um, certainly you could spend a lot more time on it to become an expert, but um, you really do learn a lot. Um, so, you know, doing placement in industry definitely gives you an experience of all sorts of different um, techniques and um, equipment used, um, apparatus. So, um, you know, coming back into final year, um, I think I'm definitely a little bit more confident about, um, you know, approaching a project and, you know, being able to, um, you know, use the equipment and everything with some confidence and um, maybe a little bit more than I was in third year when I was a bit shaky with um, <laughs> everything, but, um, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, using things like, um, a glove box, you know, I never got the experience of using that before. Um, microwave reactor, that kind of thing, you know, it, um, it opens all sorts of doors as to the um, apparatus and equipment that you can use. So in terms of um, actually looking towards the future, this has made me a lot more confident in myself and in public speaking and that kind of thing. Um, I developed all sorts of new skills, making posters and um, Again, speaking in front of people is something that I wasn't very good at to begin with, so this year has really made a big difference in that. Um, one of the things I, I, I thought about doing before was a PhD, and definitely this year has given me a lot more confidence towards actually going towards that kind of, um, that kind of career, I guess. I think so. Uh, I'm Alexander James. Uh, hello, I'm Sandy. And each one ship name, you were a Hanguge Kasoyo. In July 2010, I went to Korea. Konguk Dehakyo Eso Hanyane Pewasoyo. I studied at Konguk University for one year. Um, I did research into transparent and conducting materials for use in solar cells. Um, which gave me not only a real insight for how research actually works for the, the political dynamics and the social dynamics and how it feels to be in a laboratory environment and a laboratory group, um, but I also learned a lot culturally. Uh, for example, Hangogo or Harsui Soil, I can speak Korean. Iyagi Harsui Soil, I should say, I can have a conversation. Hi, I'm Nick. Um, I've just graduated from a master's degree in chemistry, having done a fourth year placement with um, MSD at Merck at Newhouse. Um, 
so I was working in medicinal chemistry on my placement. Um, I was sort of always interested in organic chemistry and I thought MedChem was a great way of applying organic chemistry and I really enjoyed what I did on my placement. It kind of showed up that that was what I wanted to do as a career. Um, I got to meet some sort of really important people within the industry and make some good links. I got some good advice about what was how was a good way to proceed. I uh, ate a lot of rice, <laughs> made a lot of friends, um, and uh, I feel that it's really somewhere I could go back to in the future and I would feel very at home there, um, which obviously with the the way that the economic and political situation in the world is going uh, is a great situation to have, you know, to be welcome in Asia. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with my experience and I would encourage as many others to do it as possible. Um, I'm now about to start a organic synthesis PhD which has got some quite strong industry links and is sort of developing new synthetic methods that are hopefully going to be useful to med MedChem. And, um, yeah, I, doing a placement was a really, really important part of my sort of development within chemistry. Um, I felt that, you know, most of my lab skills, or at least my best sort of lab skills and my reasoning was developed during that placement. And it was, yeah, a really good way of hopefully starting a um, career in organic and med chem. Now that I've graduated, I've set up a master's and PhD um, in London at Imperial College working on polymer solar cells and I'm very excited about that. Hi, my name's Craig and I've recently graduated from Edinburgh uh, doing medicinal and biological chemistry. I've done the year in industry in fourth year as well and I've got to say it was one of the most useful things I've done. In third year, um, I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to take in chemistry so I done my placement of Takeda and Cambridge, I should say, and that was medicinal chemistry based. And after my placement, I found that I really wanted to work in medicinal chemistry. That was the area that I was good at, I enjoyed it, and I had real applications in the real world. As well as having a lot of great benefits, like meeting new people and getting experience in that kind of job, the thing I gained most was confidence in chemistry, I would say. And coming back and working in undergraduate labs for my fifth year project, my confidence had increased dramatically and it was so useful. Um, I found that I could organise my time really efficiently and basically like, I was ready to work in chemistry. So overall I really enjoyed my year in the industry and it made me ready for my final year and it uh, showed me what I wanted to do after university. Now I'm doing a PhD with the, the School of Medicine, but it's chemistry based. And I've got to say, my time in industry really set me up for that and told me what I want to do. And basically, my future career is sorted now.